a city of Miami garbage truck slammed through a concrete barrier on Interstate 95 Monday afternoon and careened off the highway where it crosses high over the Miami River, landing inside a popular children's park in Little Havana. The accident, which miraculously occurred on a holiday when the typically bustling Jose Marti Park was quiet, happened around 5 p.m. On the I-95 southbound exit ramp to Southwest 7th Street, authorities said the driver, identified as city employee Kasim Smith, plunged about 100 feet and was apparently thrown from the crumpled cab, which split from the garbage container. Smith was seriously injured and the truck crushed the back ends of two unoccupied cars but no one else was hurt. Words fail me except to say we are blessed that it was on a day like today, said Rosa Maria Placentia, CEO of Amigos for Kids, which on school days hosts an after-school program for about 100 kids at the park. That little area is a very small closed street where cars can park and turn around and it leads right to the playground. Florida Highway Patrol investigators are working to determine what happened and why Smith lost control of his truck. The ramp was shut down after the dramatic crash, which clogged rush hour traffic as drivers ran agog from their vehicles to stare down at the ground below. He just came flying down from the highway, said Florida Highway Patrol spokesman Joe Sanchez. The truck landed on its wheels with its big blue trash bin overturned and leaning against a walkway wall. It was near a playground and pool at the park, 362 SW 4th Street. Shortly after a group of high school friends finished a game of three-on-three -three basketball at the park, the impact of the crash sent debris and shrapnel flying, basically. We heard what sounded like an explosion, said Mateos Cremonese, 15, one of the ball players. Then we looked up, 